tossed out the classified documents case against former President Donald Trump. In a 93-page ruling, the judge presiding over the case ruled the appointment of special counsel Jack Smith to prosecute the case was unconstitutional. The Justice Department can appeal this ruling and the case could wind up before the Supreme Court. All right, taking a live look now at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And to start things off, former President Donald Trump has picked Ohio Senator J.D. Vance to be his vice presidential nominee. Of course, all of this coming just two days after the attempted assassination of Trump. The head of Homeland Security is now facing questions about how the Secret Service allowed a gunman to get within shooting distance of Trump's rally in western Pennsylvania. Masha Saeed is there with the latest on the investigation. CBS News has confirmed that on the day of the assassination attempt, the shooter purchased a box of ammunition with 50 rounds. He fired from the rooftop of a building about 400 feet from the stage. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, whose department oversees the Secret Service, fielded questions Monday about how the gunman was able to get that close before Secret Service counter snipers shot and killed him. An independent review will be conducted to understand the facts regarding protection of the event and make findings and recommendations accordingly. President Trump's ear was grazed by a bullet. Two other people were hurt. 57-year-old Marine veteran David Dutch and 74-year-old James Copenhaver. Both are now in stable condition. Retired Fire Chief Corey Comparatori was fatally shot. He was a man that was full of love. The FBI identified the shooter as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. Investigators say they found rudimentary bomb materials at his home and in his vehicle. Neighbors say they saw nothing out of the ordinary. We have nothing to share to, to make some logic out of something that's completely illogical. Um, so uh, they were... They were very friendly. Law enforcement sources say the rifle found on the shooter's body was legally purchased by his father well before the attack. So far, investigators believe Crooks acted alone and the motive remains unknown. He was a registered Republican but did make a $15 donation to a progressive organization in 2021, according to the Federal Election Commission. Masa Saidi, CBS News, Butler, Pennsylvania.